Exchange booze easy a what can it look like? Let's go ahead and start out with the leader skill leader skill of course is going to be changed to 170% across the board that is locked in They're of course going to gain 50% attack and defense for one turn And if they want to go ahead and break the bank on this unit They can let them gain defense multiple turns or just make them stack defense like they did to Ajo Zamasu Who is the best character to compare it to because Ajo Zamasu was pretty much the prototype to Exchange Boo because exchange Boo came out in golden week of 2020 and of course Ajo Zamasu came out in golden week of 2019 so back on over to Exchange Boo. They're of course going to gain a defensive buff at the start of the turn with their already 40% damage reduction. I think if they want to be a bit nice with this unit, they uh, give this unit pretty much what they gave to Ajo Zamasu. I think it's completely fine if they make this unit stack defense like Ajo Zamasu because it does work out. Uh, and of course, they can also recover HP. This is a fucking Boo unit. Why are they not recovering HP anyways? It's like if you take a look at what they did for his pre EZA. Uh, he already had HP recovery, it was restricted, but he had HP recovery, damage reduction, and attack. And then the only real difference is that he's getting key instead of the HP recovery, he has the attack and the damage reduction. I think this unit could just recover HP regardless because this is a damn boo unit. It makes a lot more sense for this unit to recover HP than Zamasu does. I mean, technically Zamasu with, of course, the not being able to die shit, but you guys get the gist. Now, um, they can let this unit pretty much be a combination of what they did to Ajo Zamasu and Ingo Tanks. Ingo Tanks amazing easy A. Just say all right. I like this unit as the number one easy A T one, in my opinion right now. I'm using him, dibbling and dabbling with him, but I like him as number one easy A right now. I've used Kefla quite a bit, but Go Tanks is looking pretty damn impressive. I've seen quite a bit of videos on him, been able to dibble and dabble with him for a little bit in game. He's looking pretty damn good. So uh, going back on over to the exchange boo, they could also take inspiration from this guy's easier too. Let him gain two key or maybe three key and 200% attack and defense. Why the hell not? Of course, you're going to keep this damage reduction 40% like they did for Ajax and Masu because this is the best character to compare him to for an easy A, possibly. And let him like have additional super attack chance, maybe let him stack defense, but realistically, they're going to let him gain 50% attack and defense one turn. Uh, it doesn't matter if this form is good. If they're making them stack, sure, but if not, then probably not because they're, they're just going to transform a turn three. So basically, just let them be able to be a, let them be a formidable tank inside this form. I mean, it's pretty important because you guys know what kind of meta we're in right now. Now, with that being said, turn three, we go to this guy. This guy has a pretty solid easy A palette. Pretty solid. Uh... Has the damage reduction, of course, still from his uh, from the exchange blue part of the card. Uh, this thirty percent chance to dodge. I mean, really, I would. This unit would. Man, imagine if this unit stacked defense, bro. Let's go ahead and over to Ajo's monster real quick. Uh, yeah, fifty percent damage reduction. Yeah, they bump this up to fifty percent damage reduction, and they bump this up to a fifty percent chance to dodge. That would be pretty damn nutty. And also let this unit stack defense, bro. <laughs> Bro, brother, I I don't know. And of course, give him 250% attack and defense. Yeah, man. And let this unit gain additional super attack chance. Let him be a support type unit for artificial life forms. This unit would be cooking crazy if they do some of these changes that I'm listing out right now. Of course, you have a 50% chance of stun. Um, cool, you could use that for the little uh, the cell max event. But... And of course, the ceiling is obviously nice. The ceiling and uh, the stunning is nice. Oh, excuse that. That was a little uh, the Reddit um, icon right over there. But uh, yeah, I feel like they can very easily fix this easy A. Very, very easy. They did this guy. Um, they did this guy, of course, at the time. Um, but they can easily do it to this guy. And guess what? Uh, boo units can definitely use the help. Uh, let me go over to Super Boo. Super Boo, I mean, guys, great super attack effect right now already. Um, it's still seals. 50% uh, damage reduction, they could probably bump it up to 60, because it's fucking Super Boo, he's essentially a wall, but if they don't want to bump it up, it's completely fine. Um, I literally do not know what they would do to this form. I do not know. So I think the best character to look at is probably this guy. This guy gets 6 key, 300% attack. Um, This guy's pretty much a all-out offensive unit, just about. Uh, Although he does have that 30% damage reduction right over here, does have that defense from form super attack for three turns right over here. Passive attack debuffing for super class allies and enemies. But this guy, when you pull him out, you want to finish off the fight. Um, But for this guy, he's basically a fucking wall. I feel like this unit can have a very sick easy A. 
I don't know what they would do to this guy, but I think a 50% chance to dodge for this guy, as well as 50% damage reduction here, would be good for him. As well as stacking defense. I think stacking defense in both of these forms would be the right way to go. And then leave this shit the way it is. But if they don't want to go ahead and do that and they want to give him 50% attack defense or maybe three turns and then bump this up from three turns right over here to four turns, I can see it. Link to the Discord service down below in the description. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Peace.